Hi there, I'm Greg, an engineer with Crucial. Welcome to our tutorial on how to install the new PCIe Gen 5 Crucial T700 NVMe SSD. This is an M.2 22x80 form factor with a premium heatsink. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps required to install this SSD in your computer. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do before installing your Gen 5 T700 is to check your motherboard compatibility. You can do this by referring to the motherboard user manual or by going online to the manufacturer's website. You wanna look for information about the M.2 slots, particularly if they support the PCIe Gen 5 protocol. If not, the T700 will still operate properly in a Gen 4 slot, you just won't be able to achieve the same speeds as you would in a Gen 5 compatible slot. Before you start the installation process, we recommend that you have a well-lit, clean working area. We also recommend that you utilize an anti-static mat or an anti-static wristband to help prevent damage to any components from an ESD event. You'll want to make sure you have all the tools handy, which includes a screwdriver and, of course, your new SSD to install. The third step is to locate the capable Gen 5 M.2 slot on your motherboard. The best way to do this is to refer to the user manual for the motherboard. Some slots on the motherboard might not be Gen 5 capable, and in order to maximize the performance of the T700, you want to ensure you install it in a Gen 5 capable slot. The next step is to remove the built-in heatsink on the motherboard. To do this, you'll want to refer to your user manual for the location and the removal process. Typically, these are seated down with a couple of screws that you simply remove with a Phillips screwdriver. It's also common for these heat sinks to cover multiple M.2 slots. In this particular case, there's only a single M.2 slot. Now for the T700 with heat sink, it's important that we remove the entire thermal pad at the base of the slot, not just the plastic film, but the entire thermal pad. And this is so that the, we don't create any undesirable pressure on the SSD and it'll help it seat into the slot better. I'm gonna use a pair of tweezers to assist in this process. So I will peel this off and there we have it. The next step is to install and secure the T700 SSD. You'll wanna insert the SSD at about a 30 degree angle into the slot and make sure that the notch in the connector aligns with the notch in the slot. We'll push the SSD down, and then you can secure the SSD in one of two ways. Some motherboards utilize a simple screw, in which case you'll simply use a screwdriver to secure the drive, but just make sure to be careful and not over tighten that screw. A lot of the new Gen 5 motherboards actually include a Q-latch feature to secure the SSD. This is a circular plastic latch that rotates clockwise and counterclockwise. You'll want to turn that latch just enough such that the SSD sits flat, and then you'll rotate it clockwise and over the back of the drive to secure it in place. Now it's important to note that once we've done this, you don't need to reinstall the motherboard heatsink. For one, it simply won't install due to the Z height of this heatsink. But more importantly, the built-in premium heat sink on the T700 provides adequate cooling and you won't need the built-in motherboard heat sink. And there you have it. That's how you install the new Crucial T700 in your computer. Remember to always reference your motherboard user manual. And if you need additional information on formatting your drive, cloning your data, or setting up a boot drive, visit our library of tutorials. Thanks for watching.